Hi guys, so today I wanted to kick off 2021 with my first wig review. I know it's the beginning of February, but what better way to kick it off than with Ellen Villa Pretty, this one right here. I've had Pretty for a little while now and I will give you guys a um, in-depth review of how she wears and how I've worn her. So before I get started to the review portion of this video, if you are coming back to my channel, then thank you so much for following me on my wig journey. But if you are new to my channel, then hello, my name is Kim. I have Alopecia Universalis. I'm a wig educator. I am passionate and love everything makeup and wigs and wig styling. And if this is something that interests you, then please subscribe to my channel um, before you leave today. And give it a thumbs up to show that you've liked this video today. So without further ado, here is my review on Ellen Villa Pretty. So Ellen Villa Pretty. My pretty wig is in Bernstein Rooted. Bernstein, Bernstein, depends where you live in the world. So Bernstein Rooted is this really kind of natural blonde, if you will. Um, I have never tried Bernstein Rooted before from Ellen Villa. Um, it's actually a really beautiful blend of kind of like a light brown with um, honey blonde throughout. It's, it's actually really, really pretty. I might say this a few times in this video, so please do excuse me if I do keep saying something this wig is pretty, but it is a really beautiful color, very, very soft, um, very reminiscent of kind of a 12 FS8 from John Monod, kind of, but without that really intense blonde highlighting. So yeah, I, I'm in direct sunlight right now, and you can see that there is some really beautiful, kind of like warm honey blonde, highlights throughout but with this really beautiful kind of light brown base so i think this is a beautiful color blend so bernstein rooted is actually 12 16 19 so it's a blend of those three shades 12 is a really nice light brown 16 is your darker blonde and 19 is where you're getting a little bit warmer blonde so it's a really beautiful blend of these three shades so pretty is actually considered as a long layered wavy style with bangs <laughs> so yes it's all of that absolutely all of that if you've seen one of my previous videos in particular about the orchid from Aesthetica you'll know that I'm not a big fan of layers in long wigs I just find them really difficult to manage I don't know how to style them I've never had an abundance of layers even in my bio hair so when I decided to try Pretty, I thought, you know, I'm probably not going to like it because of the layers, but I'm going to give it a go because I wanted something with a bang. I wanted that whole bang wig. I've always really liked the Zoe DeSaniel, DeSaniel um, hairstyle. So I always liked that kind of hair and I wanted something with a bit more softness and a bit more like Parisian vibes. And when I tried Pretty, I was actually blown away with how nice and how well these waves and the layers actually do work. So I think if I compare it to Aesthetica's Orchid, Pretty has a bit more fiber. And the way that it's cut is it's like it's gradually layered. Orchid I found was quite abrupt with the layering in the length. I might be one of the only people on the planet who has tried Orchid but hasn't worked for them. But don't shoot me, I love Pretty. Pretty for me works wonderfully. Like just these layers, just the way that it's kind of feathered and tasseled and the waves work really, really well. I think it sits really nicely and like it frames the face really nicely. That first layer is kind of long, it's like a long bob. So that works really beautifully. And then you've got like some gradual layers here. I'll show you the clip of the 360. I'll add on the screen the dimensions, but it is a long wig. It's not short at all. So let's talk about this bang. The bang is absolutely beautiful. Um, I really like the length of this. So it's not a short straight across bang like you see in some other styles. It has a long bang feathery. Um, if you think it's too long, pull the wig back a bit. 
so that it's out of your eyeballs. I like it a little bit longer. So, um, yeah, with pretty though, it's not a one and done bang. You can put it all straight. You can pull it back as I just showed you, but you can also move it to the side. You know, um, I think it works really, really well as a side. You can put some hairspray in for synthetic fiber. That looks really lovely. Um, you can also kind of messily make it into a curtain bang like this. Yeah, so you've got like multiple options on how to style pretty. I kind of like it just however it sits. It looks really, really natural for me. So, you know, I used to have a bang when I was younger and I always wanted to go back to the bang. So when I did wear this, it was very reminiscent of my old hair, of course, without all the layers. So let's let's keep that in mind is that it didn't have all the layers, but I really do like this. It's very, very pretty. Again, pretty. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty, really easy to wear. So let's talk about cap construction and then I'll go on to how it's worn for me. So pretty is a basic cap. Um, there is no lace front. There are no features here on the lace because it has a fringe. You don't really need that lace front. So it's super, super comfortable. Um, it does, however, have a mono crown. So where it kind of separates on the crown and that natural parties, it does have that. I can't see it, so it doesn't really bother me that it's there or not. But what I do like is that it's not full of permatease up on top like some other basic caps. So I think that's what Ellen Villa does really nicely is that mono crown. We might not always find it useful or we might not always find it as necessary, but I really like it because it does create a bit of flatness here on the crown area and it doesn't give you all of that permatease that some other wigs do. So um, this wig is a standard wefted cap. Something really beautiful about this wig is the way that the hair has actually been sewn on the ear tab. It is full of fiber. So um, if you want to pull it back a little bit, you won't see the ear tab because it is covered in hair, which I think is wonderful. Um, it has an extended nape with Velcro adjusters. It has so many tags. But that's all right. It doesn't really bother me in this wig. I'll also show you the um, fibre at the nape. So it does have a bit of a kink. It has a natural kink to it. Just adds to that wave pattern at the nape. So if you decide to pull it up, you can see um, a bit of a kink. And I like that the um, rooting goes all the way around. So it's not just on the perimeter of the face and the crown area. So really nice wig, very basic construction very comfortable to wear so if you're looking for a really really comfortable wig cap and you don't want any lace try one of these really beautiful and comfortable this is the color again it kind of reminds me of Dromino's 12 letter 8 a little bit lighter less extreme blonde highlighting but that really beautiful warm honey um, blonde quite natural it's got that natural brown in it makes it really soft I had heard someone say that Bernstein rooted looked green. So I think it might have to do with the lighting, maybe give it a wash. Um, I, this has never looked green on me, but it might be the fluorescent lighting that you're in when you're taking a photo. Try and look at it outside, maybe try and adjust your makeup a little bit, but it's never looked green on me. Um, you know, it, yeah, I don't know, weird. Anyway, I thought I would just pop that in there as something that someone's brought up. Let's look at that layer again. So the first layer is kind of like a long bob, which I really love. I don't like short layers up here. Doesn't work for me personally. It's not my style. Just doesn't look nice on me, I think. So the first layer is a long bob. The second layer kind of sits um, just shoulder blade length. And then the long one is kind of like bra strap length, if you will. I'm trying to just describe things as I would to my girlfriends. What I really like about this wig is if it gets frizzy, if it gets tangled, if it gets matted, you can always cut up, you can trim so that you don't lose this beautiful style. You're, you're able to do that because of these layers. So I think that's what works really, really well with this wig. And I'm kind of looking forward to trimming it a little bit as well. Not that I don't love the length. I absolutely love this think It's beautiful. But I know that I can keep this for a really long time because I can trim up without ruining the style. 
So let's talk a little bit about the size. I am a 20.8 um, head circumference. So I run a petite to average-ish. Petite to average, the back of my head is child sizes. So if you ever want to know what my um, dimensions are, then please check out the description box below. I'll ensure that I, I include them in all of my videos this year. So um, yeah, it is 20.8. This wig fits me snugly. So this will fit actually a standard average. It will fit a petite really nicely as well. It's like, you can see me, I was kind of pulling this down to um, have a bit of stretch around um, my circumference. So definitely will fit up to a standard average. I think it actually fits really beautifully and quite snug on the head. So I've had pretty, pretty much for around I got it during lockdown. So I got this actually from Continental Wigs in the UK. If you've been following me, you know that already that I love Continental Wigs in the UK, especially for my German brands, for my European brands. I'm in Australia and I get them to deliver to me quite quickly. So I have no issues with delivery. And that's why I opt to go with Continental Wigs because I feel like they've got all the range of the European brand wigs that I really like because I find that the prices are really good. They have sales often, you know, and just the service is spectacular. This one I got from Continent Wigs probably mid-year, no. This one I got from Continent Wigs probably just before Christmas, actually. I'm trying to think when I got it. It's not been six months. It feels like six months. It's been a couple of months. So yeah, I've worn this quite a few times. I posted about it on my Instagram. I did a kind of first impressions, I did some videos, I've posted some photos if you want to go see them, but I still have worn it quite a few times and wears beautifully. So this is regular synthetic fibre. It's not heat resistant fibre, so, you know, it wears really well. It combs out really nicely. I haven't worn it out, so I haven't done that, you know, that rigorous wear and sweating and rubbing against my clothes, but I have worn it at home. So for the time that I have worn it, it's very comfortable, looks amazing. Um, I get super compliments. When I'm having a really bad skin day like I am right now, I'm covering my bad skin, I'm covering my wrinkles. It's free Botox and I'm all for that, especially in my 40s. But yeah, it wears really, really well and it's super comfortable with glasses. So I do wear reading glasses. Um, I've now opted for really large reading glasses. So I want something that will wear really well eight hours in front of the screen when I'm working. So these are my reading glasses. The hinges on these open up a little bit more because they are readers. So I wear these just there. So it sits just nicely underneath the ear tab and just underneath the wig. So that's what these look like. And sorry, they are blue lens um, for the screen, but this is kind of what they look like. Really, really comfortable. Um, I find that because the height of the ear tab is where it is on me, so I have a 20.8 circumference, almost an average circumference, and the ear tabs sit beautifully on me. So I these sit really nicely just under the ear tab. Um, if they don't go over the ear tab or they don't need to go through it, but they just sit really nicely just underneath them, which I really like. So I can talk about pretty all day, as you can tell. Um, I, I think I need to wrap it up and just let you guys know my final thoughts. I love it. Love pretty. I was thinking of getting it in a couple of other shades, but I thought I want to wear this a little bit more first before I actually take the plunge. It's very inexpensive because it has a basic cap um, with a mono crown, of course, but it is inexpensive. So, you know, I could probably get away with getting another one um, sometime in 2021, which I might do. I might try and go back to my espresso dark brown hair. Please let me know down below if you think I should try a darker shade of pretty. But yeah, um, I'm really happy with this. I love the way it looks. It's really, really um, amazing and comfortable. Very Parisian chic with red lipstick especially. But yeah, really nice wig if you're looking for a bang, which is kind of a longer length bang. Um, that you can change the style of without having to cut it, then definitely check out Ellen Villa Pretty. I will actually leave the um, link to Ellen Villa Pretty on Continental Wigs down below. If you don't like this colour, 
there are more colors you can check out but yeah um as i mentioned i'm pretty much uh interested in trying a dark brown soon um similar to my human hair ellen villa wig um, my first human hair wig that i had purchased so go check out the colors um go check out the description of this um i'm sure there might be other reviews um out there on ellen villa pretty but i hope this helps you with your purchasing decision so thanks for watching my video today guys sorry it's a lengthy one but it is my first of the year and i have so much to talk about and so many wigs to review so this is my first one i hope i will have my next video coming up in a week or so and that'll be another european brand Belmadam. so thanks a lot guys and i'll speak to you all very very soon bye